Those fluorescent stripes are one of the first things you notice about these two. But it's not for fashion. They're not just out for a walk. They want to get your attention and help people get safely to and from the train. It's called Safe Walks NYC. It started with an Instagram account. We're all looking out for each other. Peter Carre created Safe Walks at the beginning of January. They started offering walks with friends and then a network of constituents. First in his neighborhood around the Morgan Avenue L train. Several women had been assaulted around that station. Homemade warning signs are still up along the sidewalk. The news has been getting worse, repeating itself. Fatal stabbings over the weekend and reports of crime in the transit system. We're receiving a lot of requests through our Instagram page. Uh, most of those requests are asking about expansion to, to different areas in the city. They have a network of volunteers now around the Bushwick stations, and they're expanding to Chinatown because of recent attacks and around 125th Street in Harlem. We're here because we believe in a, in a social safety net, and it's not going to be provided by the powers that be, the people that have the huge budgets. NYPD has deployed 644 more officers into the transit system. The MTA has asked for 1,000 uniformed police officers are meant to be seen around the system. Riders hope that extends not only to the busy places. We need to step up and protect the mobility of all of our community. The MTA would like there to be 4,000 NYPD Transit Bureau officers. That would be the same number that the, the Bureau had when uh, the the, the, the places combined when the city took over control of the subways. Safe Walks NYC has created a, a GoFundMe so they can create an app to help connect people. At Grand Central, Greg Mocker, Pix11 News.